From the Classic 107 Studios in downtown Winnipeg, 107 Live for Birchwood Jaguar, the art of performance. And good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Tuesday, May 1st edition of Birchwood Jaguar 107 Live. In the studio with me this morning are two members of the MRMTA, the Manitoba Registered Music Teachers Association. They are Liz and Scott Miller, oboe and bassoon. Uh, they're in to play some music, but also to have a little conversation in between the pieces of music about an evening of musical delights called Serata, which is a fundraiser for the MRMTA's 100th anniversary and CFMTA, I'm assuming that's Canadian, of a Manta of Teachers Association Conference, A Century of Sound Connections in 2019. The event happens on May 6th at 7 p.m. So we're going to have a conversation with them in a few minutes. Good morning. All right. So before we have a conversation about the event and what you guys are, your roles are, I guess, with the MRMTA, we're going to have a little music. Nice, nice, playful uh, piece of music there, Liz. You're, we're going to start over here. I, I've got Liz and Scott Miller in the uh, studio with me. Liz plays the oboe. Scott plays the bassoon. And they're uh, going to be performing at Serata, an evening of musical delights, which is a uh, fundraising concert for the MRMTA's 100th anniversary. Liz, why don't you tell us about that piece of music you just played? Uh, well, actually, I think Scott was a bit Scott, more of why don't you tell us about that? <laughs> <laughs> sure. So uh, <laughs> we just played the first movement of Dan Welcher's uh, Metamorphoses on a th uh, on the themes of Schubert, uh, Mill Songs for Oboe and Bassoon. Mm -hmm. And it's a set of pieces inspired by Schubert's uh, Die Schöne Müllerin. Uh, so it's the songs of the, the lovely Miller's daughter. Mm -hmm. And there's... A, 
four of those songs were sort of um, adapted for oboe and bassoon, reinterpreted, reimagined by American composer Dan Welcher for two of his colleagues at the University of North Texas, uh, Kristen Wolf Jensen and John Snow, a uh, bassoonist and oboist. Mm-hmm. And um, that was the first movement of that, and that was the uh, Das Wandern, Wandern, I pronunciation, I can't do it. That's okay, yeah. um, But that's... Uh, that's what that was. So that was a little bit more, uh, more of a theme and variations than than the original setting, and so you'll see in each in each of the movements um, that he that Dan wrote, he takes Schubert's themes and he twists them a little bit. He does something original with them, mm-hmm. and so is it a, th- a three movement work in Titan? It's a four movement work. Movement We're work? playing two of those movements tonight, today, um, and we're playing them again at the Serata concert and. We can tell you a little bit about that event. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the event if you want. So the Serata concert is this Sunday, May 6th at St. Andrew's River Heights United Church starting at 7 o'clock. And you can buy tickets online. It's $20 for adult, $10 for a child, and $50 for five people. Mm-hmm. And so this is a fundraiser for the MRMTA's 100th anniversary and they're actually hosting the 2019 conference. And the conference is um, its actually a part of the convention of, for the National Conference of the Canadian Federation of Music Teachers Associations. Mm-hmm. So you guys have been, how long you've been members of the MRMTA? Probably just over a year, just like over maybe a year? about a year and a half. And mm-hmm. there's about 160 members across the province. So how does one become a member? Is there, do you have to apply, or do they come after you, or how does, uh, it, how does it all work? Yeah, so it's sort of a process. You can find more information online, but you apply with materials, and then it's like voted upon to become a member. Mm-hmm. And so the MRMTA, they're s- sort of a service that if people are looking for a particular lesson in an instrument, you're up on their website, and you're sort yeah. of, you come recommended by the MRMTA. It's not just looking somebody up in a phone book and saying, hey, they play an oboe. Maybe I can yeah. <laughs> get them to teach me. So you have so these you know, credentials. That the, yeah, the members are qualified to teach and to play. Mm-hmm. And they're like specialized with their instruments. So did you grow up in Winnipeg? Liz, yeah, I actually Winnipeg? did. I'm yeah? from Winnipeg. And who, are, who is your oboe teacher growing up? Um, I study with Julie Trache and then Doug Bairstow. And then I went down to Louisiana to study there for university. Okay, at uh, University of Louisiana. Uh, or yeah, Louisiana State Louisiana University. LSU. Yeah. LSU. Okay, cool. So was it? Uh, did you find when you were down in Louisiana, things were different? Did you learn anything different down there than here? Oh, or yeah, is it's it really different down there. Like the weather, the people. But <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so it affects the music. It affects sort of the whole feeling of, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me just chat for one second with Scott before I get you guys to play a bit more music. What about you, Scott? Sure. You hail from Winnipeg. No, I'm no. I'm from Florida. You're from Florida. I'm from Florida. What part of Florida? Tallahassee. Okay. So not Winnipeg remotely. <laughs> and so you grew up down in Tallahassee. When did you make your way here? So I uh, came to Winnipeg in the very end of 2016. Um Liz and I had met down at LSU, mm-hmm. and we were down in Louisiana for a few years, mm-hmm. and then we moved back to Winnipeg. Wow. And so I said, hey, I'll go to Winnipeg. It'll be great. Okay, so, so, far, you, so came, good. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't convince her to stay in Florida where it's a bit warmer by the beach and everything? <laughs> couldn't yeah, do it. Can't, I'm done with hot summers. You're done with hot done summers? With them. Okay. Yeah. Well, we get hot summers here. Not quite as hot as Florida, I know. <laughs> I've been to Florida in the summer. It's I love it. I love the heat in Florida for sure. But well, you well, can you can go enjoy it for me. I will. I would definitely will. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Winnipeg. I Thank didn't you. realize you were that uh, recent here to Winnipeg. So I'm glad you're here and enjoying it. I am as well. So you also do uh, some. You do teaching on the side, and you I guys. I, I, I sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say I, I do teaching. I am a private studio bassoon student. Um, yeah. I also teach music theory. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one of the things that the MRMTA will do. Is in, in addition to if you're primary instrument uh they'll say they'll um list you as a teacher on a primary instrument and also on secondary disciplines uh for example i'm again teaching music theory lessons as well okay um and also we were chatting off off uh off air that you also make your own reads you and liz have your own company 
What is it called? We do. So the company is called Hurricane Reeds, and we make reeds for oboe, bassoon, and English horn, mm -hmm. and we sell them to students and professionals in Canada and the U.S. And they can find you online? They sure can. Um, it's hurricanereads.com. There you Apparently go. Currently, I'm plugging our business. H-U-R-R-Y? H-U-R-R-Y, C-A-N-E, okay. reads.com. Okay. But also check out the MRMTA website. Yes, if you're looking Serata for a teacher. Con concerts <laughs> and also for teachers. All right. No, I don't. I, <laughs> he didn't ask to plug it. I said, why don't you talk about it and tell us about your read making business? Because obviously that takes up a bit of time as well. So I'm in conversation with Liz and Scott Miller. They will be performing at Serata, an evening of musical delights, which is a fundraiser for the MRMTA's 100th anniversary, May 6th. Uh, at 7 p.m., St. Andrews River Heights United Church. And uh, you can go to their website. It is mr mrmta.org for more information and tickets. Well, let's, let's uh, hear a bit more of that piece. It's a lovely piece. So, Okay, so this th the next piece we're going to play is the third movement of mm -hmm. Dan Welcher's Metamorphoses, and this is uh, called uh, Der Jaeger, the Hunter. So, uh, and for this one, you'll see, you'll you'll hear kind of some uh, chasing happening between the oboe and the bassoon. Okay, I hope they escape without getting shot. <laughs> Sounded like it escaped. We could hear it running fast away from the hunter. <laughs> you heard uh, Liz and Scott Wolf on the oboe and the bassoon. They are part of the MRMTA, the Manitoba Registered Music Teachers Association. You can go to the website mrmta.org to uh, check on them if you want oboe and bassoon lessons. Uh, and also they've got a whole bunch of other teachers, some of whom will be performing at Serata, of an evening, evening of Musical Delights, which takes place May 6th. 7 p.m. Tickets at the door or online at mrmta.org. Thank you guys for coming in this morning. Good luck with your read making business and all your performances and teaching, and uh, have fun on the weekend performing with the uh, an evening of musical delights. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. 107 Live is Classic 107's intimate concert series, brought to you by Birchwood Jaguar, the art of performance.